Welcome, history enthusiasts, to a captivating journey through the intricate tapestry of one of the most consequential figures in history, Emperor Augustus. Our voyage begins in the year 63 BC, a world in turmoil and transformation. It is here that Gaius Octavius Furinus comes into the world, born to a noble family. Little could Rome have known that this child would become the architect of its destiny. His childhood unfolds against the backdrop of Julius Caesar's assassination, an event that would reverberate through history. Gaius Octavius Furinus, a name that would one day echo in the annals of history, grows up in a city of shifting allegiances and unsteady loyalties. With his great-uncle Julius Caesar's life cut short, Young Octavius finds himself thrust into a world of intrigue and uncertainty. As a keen observer of the political landscape, Octavius witnesses firsthand the power struggles, rivalries, and shifting alliances that mark this tumultuous era. He learns that in Rome, power is a fleeting dream, and ambition can be a double-edged sword. The seeds of ambition are sown early as Octavius absorbs the lessons of Rome's turbulent past. He begins to shape his own destiny, drawing inspiration from his great uncle's legacy and laying the foundation for his future ascent to power. The stage is set with Octavius's adoption by none other than the illustrious Julius Caesar. With this bold stroke, he inherits a name that resonates with power Gaius Julius Caesar. The torch of ambition passed from great uncle to adopted heir ignites a fire within Octavius, a fire that would burn through the pages of history. The years between 44 BC and 27 BC become a canvas for Octavius's political acumen. In the shadow of his adopted father's legacy, he navigates a world where loyalty can be a curse and power a double-edged sword. These are years of intricate dances, where alliances shift like sand in the wind. The stage is set for a dramatic coalition that would reshape the course of history, the formation of the Second Triumvirate. The year is 43 BC, and the Roman world is a cauldron of political turmoil. As Octavian, Mark Antony, and Lepidus join forces, the Second Triumvirate is born. A partnership forged in ambition, loyalty, and a shared vision to restore order to Rome. Their alliance is sealed with a solemn pact, a trinity of power set to sweep aside any obstacle in their path. With vengeance as their rallying cry, the Triumvirate embarks on a relentless campaign to eliminate those responsible for the assassination of Julius Caesar. In their quest for dominance, the Triumvirs leave no stone unturned. The streets of Rome echo with the footsteps of their supporters and the cries of their enemies. Ancient grudges resurface as political foes are hunted down, marking a bloody chapter in Rome's history. The pinnacle of this reign of terror arrives with the Battle of Philippi in 42 BC, as the armies of the Second Triumvirate clash with the forces of Brutus and Cassius. The fate of Rome teeters on a knife's edge. The air is charged with anticipation as legions collide and destinies are sealed on the battlefield. The Triumvir's victory leaves a trail of fallen enemies, culminating in the tragic end of the assassins of Julius Caesar. Amidst the chaos, Octavian's leadership chimes. His strategic brilliance solidifies their dominance and ushers in an era of authority. Through the lens of his calculated decisions, Rome's landscape is forever transformed, yet, even in their victory, the Triumvirate's unity is tenuous. Personal ambitions and rivalries simmer beneath the surface, foreshadowing a rift that will echo through history. As we dig deeper, we uncover a tale of passion, betrayal, and political maneuvering that will forever be etched in the annals of time. The stage is set in the East, where Mark Antony finds himself captivated by the allure of Egypt's iconic queen, Cleopatra. Their liaison, fueled by intrigue and desire, becomes the stuff of legend. However, as Antony's heart is entangled in the web of Cleopatra's spell, his alliance with Augustus begins to crumble. The once unbreakable bond between these two powerful men becomes strained under the weight of personal entanglements. The turning point arrives in 31 BC at the Battle of Actium. 
two vast fleets clash on the azure waters, representing the ultimate showdown between the forces of Octavian and Antony. The battle roars like a storm, the waves echoing the tumultuous emotions of the men commanding the ships. As the dust settles, Octavian emerges as the victor, his strategic brilliance securing his ascendancy. Tragedy strikes as Mark Antony and Cleopatra's love story meets a tragic end. Facing defeat, their bond becomes their undoing, a symbol of their doomed attempt to challenge the might of Octavian. As the dust settles on the battlefield and history is forever altered, the tale of Octavian's triumph and Antony and Cleopatra's fall becomes a testament to the fickle nature of power and passion. Augustus's ascent to power as Rome's first emperor marked the dawn of a new era the Pax Romana, an age of stability and prosperity that echoed throughout the Roman world. Augustus's reign wasn't just about power, it was about the pursuit of greatness, of reshaping a city of stone and mortar into a masterpiece that would stand the test of time. His architectural projects were nothing short of astonishing, from temples to monuments, Augustus's Rome bore the marks of his grand vision. The cityscape was transformed, becoming a living testament to his dedication to the arts. But Augustus's legacy extended far beyond stone and marble. His legal reforms were a cornerstone of his empire. Laws were refined, creating a more just society and securing his people's loyalty. In a world where culture flourished, Augustus emerged as a patron of the arts. He believed that a thriving cultural landscape was essential for the well-being of a society. Under his rule, poets, writers, and artists flourished, contributing to a rich tapestry of creativity. Augustus was merely a ruler. He was a visionary leader who understood the power of symbolism. The month of August was named in his honor, a tribute to his enduring influence. But his greatest masterpiece was the restoration of Rome's political structure. The veneer of a republic remained, yet Augustus's guiding hand ensured that real power rested with him. His skillful navigation maintained the illusion of shared governance, while he wielded authority with a gentle yet firm grasp. As we delve into the final chapter of Augustus's remarkable journey, in these later years, we find Augustus immersed in introspection, having achieved unparalleled power and influence. He grapples with the inevitable question that haunts us all what legacy will he leave behind. His passing in 14 CE marks the end of an era, leaving an empire forever changed. Augustus's legacy is etched in the annals of time, an influential ruler whose impact shaped the destiny of empires and the trajectory of Western civilization. His vision of Rome, a city of marble and magnificence, endures as a testament to his unwavering commitment to excellence. The Pax Romana he ushered and allowed Rome to flourish as never before. The influence of Augustus's reign reached far beyond his lifetime. His legacy would influence generations of leaders, guiding their decisions and shaping their perspectives on governance, leadership, and the very essence of an empire. From architecture to governance, his influence reverberates through the ages, reminding us of the enduring impact one individual can have on the world. Understanding figures like Augustus allows us to connect with our past, learn from their triumphs and tribulations, and gain insights that shape our present and future. So join us and let's embark on a journey of discovery. Let's dive into the stories of those who came before us, those who paved the way for the world we inhabit today.